I was in a bit of a philosophical mood last night, and I started to wonder. If you never have a chance to use your finishing move, is it still a finisher? Or is it just a regular old move? What are you getting at? I guess I was thinking about how dominating my finisher is going to be in the WWE, but you guys are probably never even going to get to use yours, which is kind of sad. Total waste of some perfectly good finishing moves. I don't think you have to worry about that since I guarantee I could hit my finisher on you today. Really? Okay, well, how about we have a little fatal four-way finisher match? First one to hit theirs wins. Deal. I look forward to showing you that my finishing move is not going to go to waste. Hey, rookie, you have a passport or no? Uh, yeah. Why? Turns out I have to go back to Japan to finish out one more match of my contract there. WWE thinks a Japanese opponent might try to injure me for leaving, so unfortunately, I have to face one of you guys. But whatever. At least it will be an easy win. So do you want to make the trip or no? Don't know how easy it will be for you, but I'll do it. When do we go? Not so fast. Obviously, this is a huge opportunity, so Hector and Chase want it in, too. 
So you're gonna face them in a triple threat match for the right to lose to me in Japan. Good luck. Yeah!
Hey, glad you made it. I'm Baron Blade. Whatever you've heard about me, don't believe it. Unless it was good, then it's totally legit. So you two ready for the big show tonight? Yeah, can't wait to check out all the matches. I'm sure you'll be able to watch from the back a bit, but I don't allow wrestlers in the audience. Unless it's a lighthouse and we need to beef up the head count, but that's not the case for tonight. Especially after we blew up on social media, saying two future WWE superstars were competing. Wait, are you saying we're in a match? Yeah, I sent Chase a message about it. It said, bring a friend to the show, need more matches. Chase, what the heck, man? To be fair, the one other time we met, you talked non-stop about how much you loved collecting matches from restaurants you ate at. So I guess me bringing some from several different local establishments was a complete waste of time. Oh, no, I'll still take those. Thanks. This is exactly what I was afraid of. I didn't want anyone to know we were here, and now we're going to wrestle? Not my problem. And like I said, it's already out there on social media, so you might as well go through with it anyway. You should probably go get changed into your gear, though. I don't have any gear. I thought we were just here to watch the show, remember? Oh, come on, man. You always bring your gear. <laughs> Rookie mistake. Just wrestle in your clothes, I guess. Remind me to never listen to you again. How would I be able to remind you if you're not going to listen to me again? You're the worst.
Well, look who it is. The two hottest stars on the Indies. I guess you saw what happened. I'm certainly not an expert on the old internet, but it was kind of hard not to see it. Footage was plastered all over social media. What'd you think of the match? Four stars? Five, maybe? That's not really important right now. What matters is I wasn't the only one who got wind of your little guest appearance. You know, they do have internet up in Connecticut, right? So here's what I'm thinking. First time offense, your sentence is a crap ton of cardio, and then a match against the Viking Raiders. Sound fair? Yes, that's more than fair. And I promise it won't happen again. It better not. Or you two will permanently be on the Indies. Now go do laps around the building until the Viking Raiders get here. When might that be? Oh, about three hours from now. Go. Yeah! Ah! 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 